Well, it's a full load, but it's a lot easier than packing it into the Forester. For the first time in over a year, both Colin and Lucy have joined me for a quick little Western Oregon camping excursion. We're headed up into the Cascade foothills with my friends Sarah and Aaron. You haven't seen them on the channel much lately, but they were among my very first adventuring buddies who have since become very good friends of mine. You can see their cross trek in many of my earlier Forester adventures spanning all over Oregon, including a bonus Soft Roading the West episode available exclusively to my Patreon supporters. It's been a long time since we've hit the trail together, and I'm really happy we were able to meet up this weekend. Friday afternoon and we've been probing a number of primitive little forest trails. Many of the campsites in this area are already occupied, but we finally found a vacant spot with enough room for us all and a substantial creek flowing by. Colin and I will each pitch tents and Lucy will sleep in the truck canopy. The little princess gets to the palace. <laughs> I'm going to give this Quechua two second tent another try. Last time I camped with this tent, I forgot to bring the air mattress and had a somewhat rough night sleeping on the ground. I've brought a cot for tonight and looking forward to a better night's sleep this time. faster than the gazelle. Plus the nice thing about the cot in this tent is that um, then there's space underneath. You can put your shoes underneath, you can put your bag underneath. All right. And whereas if you had an air mattress in there, yeah, you shove pretty everything much into the corner takes up the entire floor of this tent. And they call this a two person tent, but it's it's really a one person tent. Yeah. I would I can't even imagine being in here with even someone that I was very, very close to. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to sleep in here with anybody else. <laughs> Sarah and Aaron have been using this compact Tepui tent countless weekends a year for years and remain happy with their setup. Oh, it's cool how fast it sets up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can sleep in it now.
guess I'll use this to make it cool. Stuff. I like them because uh, you, can get, you can sort of make a sandwich thing, but it's not very much bread at all. Yeah. And I get the whole grain kind, so it's relatively healthy. Yeah. I'm throwing together a pretty simple dinner tonight. One of my clients makes seafood products such as burgers, sausages, and crab cakes, and I usually end up with samples in my freezer. So I'm pan frying these fish burgers. I have no idea what kind of fish these are. <laughs> They're fish. They're fish. That's good enough for me. I'm making a super basic coleslaw to top them with and dressing the thin buns with some teriyaki sauce. Doesn't look very pretty, but definitely a juicy, tasty, and healthy burger. The Jackery Explorer 1500 has become the heart of my power management on camping and overlanding trips, and I love the massive capacity and huge wattage output that makes it possible to run almost anything at camp. But I have to give a nod to what a little workhorse the Explorer 500 has been for me all along. My reliable sidekick on every trip for the past year and a half, perfectly capable of running my fridge, keeping all my cameras and devices charged, lighting up camp, and even powering a heat gun for an emergency repair. The portability of the 500 makes it useful well beyond my vehicle, and even now I still tote this with me everywhere I go, as it has proven useful in countless unexpected situations.
We've enjoyed a leisurely breakfast hanging around camp, and now we're getting our gear packed back into the truck. One of the reasons I replaced my totaled Subaru with a crew cab pickup instead of another Forester was to make it more convenient and comfortable to get out with both of my kids. This was something we largely avoided before as it was such a headache in the Forester, but I'm really happy with how fast and easy it is now to travel with everything we need, including separate sleeping quarters for everybody. broken, we said our goodbyes to Sarah and Aaron as we all set off back towards civilization. Time to air up and head home.